Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, may I beg enough to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Major hype in more problems after ex-girlfriend Kirby did recent interview exposing more dirty secrets. A woman styled Dexter Daps and tell him to come and eat her. Massacre tell fans he has over a thousand new songs to release. And Bounty Killer and his foundation donates 40 tablets to see View Gardens Primary. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this thing with Major hype and Kirby because it seemed like everything kind of come back up again you understand people and um, basically Kirby did an interview with a popular youtuber that goes by the name of Tasha K you see me someone who might know her she is very famous you know she also get recognition from Nicki Minaj so you're supposed to know me at all but now basically Kirby exposed a lot of things on that interview so right now she get a lot of bashing some people feel like she just come for us in major hype career you see me people and um, based on some of the things them what she say if it go the right way or how she want it for go I feel like him career definitely go go down you see me so it seemed like this woman here now go give up she now got you know it's like she want justice basically now I'm going to tell you some of the things that she say because of course I'm go play the trailer for the interview and I'm not going to try for you know I'm not going to put certain things in the video because I don't want me and that girl have any issue but basically um, she said major hype all are done spitting her mouth and all them type of thing there is my people and um, basically she, it's like she has a theme son they come to her and i say major hype i go beat her just like him beat their mother you see what i say people now she also go on for tabo say she push something in her bottom now you know what i talk about people saying it's like she want to make the man look like same as a fish so right about now she now hold back nothing people the woman does attack up a bag of things and to be honest people me really i feel wonder if this woman does try to destroy the man career because she seem like she now give up when she not go up on instagram live and say certain things you know, she go up on interviews and she bring up about the same thing. A lot of persons also feel like, you know, she try to play the victim role and thing. Because I saw Tasha K post up this on her Instagram page. And a lot of persons over there bash her as well. So Tasha K said, coming up, comedian Major Hype Web of Secrets Exposed. Hashtag Major Hype. Hashtag Kirby and thing. Is it my people? And... <laughs> Somebody left a comment saying, so what's the goal? To destroy this man? I don't understand. Y'all both guilty. It happened. It's over. Why this? So this person has said, look like, you know, the woman definitely out for destroy major hype career. Can remember, say, it's been a while since we even hear nothing about this, you know, people. So if we see she actually take up her next interview, it seems like she definitely have a motive or she just basically want to make him feel hurt or something. But anyway, Dr. Love have some words for Kirby. And trust me, it is not some good words. Him feel like a Kirby a try. Basically being a gold digger then Zane and show she maybe never did a get no money from Major Hype anymore. That are the reason why she a try this try him career. You see my people. So I'm going to play what Dr. Love Office say. And then, you know, as usual, don't just leave some comments in the comment section and make me know where anything about this. You see my people. So check this out. I came across a video. I was driving and I stopped over. I came across a video with the girl named Kirby. That are the girl major IP that talk to. And apparently Kirby must go do a, must go do an interview somewhere talking about our situation that she claimed that she was in. And me sit down there and me and listen to it for a minute. And then me I look upon this girl and me I read through this girl. Why go on my friend? Me I read Tomorrow, what's up? May I read you this girl named Kirby? And I ask myself the question. Kirby, I want to ask you a question. What are you trying to accomplish? Amelia, K, okay, what's up? What are you really trying to accomplish? The girl, Kirby, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying to accomplish a Grammy? Are you trying to accomplish a mansion? Are you trying to accomplish a year plane? Are you trying to accomplish that somebody may see you and put you on a Hollywood stage? Or you want to be that, that person, right? That you're trying to make, you're trying to make a name out of something that's, it's never going to happen, right? Will never happen. As far as I see, when I look at you and the way you're talking and carrying on, you is a broken female that is so broken, so destroyed, broken, because 
the home that you're coming from, you're coming from it either a broken mother or a broken father. You are so broken. Right? You are broken that you you use you, you literally is retarded. You have a mental, a mental situation. Right? Right? You're using major hype name to put yourself out there. Right? You want to use major hype name to, to try to build a fan base for people to run to you. Oh, you're such a, you're, you're such a role model. You're, you're such a this, you're such a that and all that. And at the end of the day, you are not going to make it to any big commercial where you expect to make it to. That situation is not going to make you anywhere, young lady. The problem is that you need to seek some form of counseling of your mental discombobulated self that you're going through. You're going through a mental situation, young lady. You is one of those females that walk around and cry wolf and look for people to satisfy you. You want people to have sympathy with you. Listen to me. The people them already have sympathy with you in at the beginning already. The sympathy over. That little minute of fame of sympathy is over. It now going to bring you anywhere. You know, you, 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 you're not a J-Lo. You're not a Beyonce. You're not a, um, what the other one name? Uh, when, when you're not a pretty one name, I forgot what she name. You're not none of these girls, right? You're not going to make it on a big platform. You're not going to get a contract for a million dollars. You're not going to be the person that they're going to put on a billboard and say, oh, this was a girl that claimed she was abused. Young lady, some of you know women, you know need to go see mental, mental evaluation. Because you are going through a mental evaluation and somebody is leading you on. Somebody are telling us, oh yeah, continue man. Oh, bring me job down. You cannot bring something down that God already put. You cannot bring something down that's already what it is already. Oh, sorry, Sean. Right? What you're trying to do, you use major, you claim, say, okay, let me tell you someone. You remind me of one combobulated element when me know. No. You was with me, Jaip. And me, Jaip was your love. He was everything. He was, he was your ride or die. Right? All right, people. So, let's see what I go on. Zane, now, basically, my personal opinion, I feel like if all of this is in court, why come out and speak about it now? You understand? You just look like you're definitely bitter and a try to get the man in some problems. You see, my people, because I know it's a show business, you will lose out if them find out say you do certain things. You see, my people, but let me know when you think about this. And also, let me know if you don't feel like say she just want to destroy the man's reputation. That's the reason why she had to do this interview. You see, my people. So now I want to talk about Dexter Dabs and also a woman will tell Dexter Dabs same can come and eat her. You see, my people. Now, basically, Dexter Dexter that post up, um, him post a picture on him Instagram page and it seemed like he is in Atlanta now, you see me? Because of course, you know, so the other day he was in Florida for a show and it seemed like he have a show in Atlanta right about now. So Dexter Dab say, good morning Atlanta, where's your good food spot with a laughing emoji? So it's just a regular post he make a ask them for a good food spot where he can go eat some food and thing. Now a woman actually jump in the comment section and say, between my thighs. Now, obviously, you know where they're between a woman's thighs. And Dexter Dabs actually respond and say, Sorry, I don't eat peach with a whole bunch of laughing emojis. See, my people? Now, of course, you know, say Dexter Dabs just makes you know, say, him not eat crutches. You see, my people? Now, other persons were leaving some comments trying to give Dexter Dabs some spots where him can go eat. Um, somebody said, Go ask spice, make she cook for you. Dexter Dabs respond and say, My ear says she bad, but the rust not over there. So maybe a idol shall go today. You see me? So, who no knows the spice of a rasta man? So Dexter Dabs was a joke around and thing, people. You see me? But at least Dexter Dabs never really dissed the woman. Because me know, say, if I did over foot I page that, that woman they would have get this. You see me? Because you know, say, them man, they have firm belief when they come on to eat in front and all them type of thing there. Them man, they don't on them type of things there. You see me, people? But at least Dexter Dabs did us. You know, him kind of laugh it out and thing. Him not really take it as a styling even though really and truly a style she try style man you see me but leave in the comments and make me know where anything about this so now I'm going to talk about the genocide boss Massacre yes people Massacre was on Instagram live basically updating the fans them on his new upcoming album I not even know when it's going to release to be honest people but it seemed like the album yeah, I got shot 
and Massacre also talk about how much songs he have write about now. People are me talk about new songs. Massacre say him have more than 1,000 songs ready for release. Well, him never say ready for release, but him say him have more than 1,000 new songs. You see me, people? So right about now, Massacre can drop a song every single day, people. You see me, a whole heap of song that even though that no means that all of them are going to be a hit song because some artists them have a bag of song and you can count how much out of them they make sense but I think Massacre pass them stages still because you know most of them song them can definitely say hit and of course you know so the fans them been wanting some new song or new videos because it's been a while since him actually dropped anything you see my people but I'm going to play this Instagram live and then I'm going to finish so what I have to say you see my people so listen this Boy, so just go on. Wait and see what I go on. We're worried about what I did. So, you know, say anything with Jaffa, it's, 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 it's. You see, vibe. All the new music left. We jump out in the street. In a reality, still, we have more than 1,000 new songs. I swear to God, believe me. You see, vibe. <coughs> yeah. So all if I think so far with cross the head up. Four three eight. But more stop smoke still. I also them know the remedy for stop smoke. I would try to find them. Let me look through them comments and say I would try to know the remedy. Still they're done build man people. Story part three done. Everything done man. I hold if I new song man. See vibe. Yeah, all if all if I new song man. Mm-hmm. So they just look out. Yeah, man, but 1000 strong. Only for bad feature they on the album, too. You see, vibe. Yeah, only for only for only for bad feature. We do even want to say no name right now to we drop the track listing. You see, vibe. I see, badness. And we think already. One side to the landslide, you see. It. A dog said that not nerdy. Only smoke for one half stress. Mm. Only for music, music. No thing up. One slide to the landslide, you hear that? Yeah, man, you have to store part three for it. Grandfather, part two. Holy for song, holy for holy for song. I think it's the best body I work. Dance all if I go sit still. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, me, 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 dance all in general. This album, is it? Yeah, I put in the work behind that man. Yeah, man. So the genocide fans, them, you can look out for a whole heap of new music. And yesterday, I see Massacre release a new video with him, Sean Paul, and Skilly Beng is it? The song the name Everest. So you can go check that out. If you don't check it out yet, it's up on him YouTube channel. Now, as I said, the genocide fans, just look out for a whole heap of new things, is it? All right, people. So before I jump into the next topic, I see a video circulate on social media. And things like this kind of piss me off. But basically, a woman that was missing for a while, them even put up her picture, says she's missing and all of that. The woman never missing people. The woman did actually, they are friend yard, you see me? Now, basically, um, her husband and her daughter went down there, them video everything. But the woman actually seemed like she never have no remorse, you see it? The daughter even get emotional about the whole thing, you know, people. Check out that clip here and I want to see what I'm going to talk about. All right. It's a bit I'm going to find. I'm going to find my wife here. Yeah. See her here. Come here, I'm going to see her. I'm going to see her. See my wife, what is it? Come, 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 let's go now, let's go. And turn you from in that half hour down now. Turn you to from in that half hour on Facebook that you're missing. Turn you to say you're a wicked woman. Come, come, come. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can't stay now. Come here. Why are you doing this for? Come on. Come, 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 come. Come here. Come here. Come, Tian, let's go. Let's go. See her there. See her there. What's her name? You can't stay down now. Don't come up back. Don't come back up. Here, stay down here. You can't stay down now.
All right, so if me was all the brother there, I probably would all file for divorce or something because she narrated me how she for gone down a friend yard and me actually the woman I wonder if my wife and I wonder why she not there home with me, I understand? Only for fine, so she did a friend yard. No, it's like she don't even care about how her daughter feel. Is it, people? So, if you was the husband, what would you do? What kind of advice would you give him? Because you can't see the same feel away, you know, people. You can't hear it now, voice, you know, I talk about. No, we know where they can stay away there. Him does have said that. You see me, but, you know, hopefully them can, you know, probably work out things. Because, you know, when you're upset, you might say certain things. But that woman, they seem like she not her family. Because you can't go well if your family and just their friend yard. You see it? And not even like, say, it is somewhere of urgency there. You actually just dead sit down like you have a care in the world. But people, leave in the comments and make me know, yeah, man. So anyway, I'm going to talk about Bounty and his foundation donating 40 tablets to CV Gardens Primary School. You see, my people, I'm going to just read that article quick and fast, and then I'm telling you what I think about this. It. So it says, the Bounty Foundation, led by dancehall artist Bounty Killer and his manager Paul Giscom, has continued its ongoing charity drive with the donation of 40 tablets to the CV Gardens Primary School. This is part of the artist's Each One Teach One initiative. Bounty Killer said, I was raised half of my life in Seaview Gardens and I was here from this school was made. I have close relationship with my community. When it comes from giving back and charity, my community is always a first priority. Vice Principal of the school, Keisha Hesla Pessoa, expressed appreciation to the Bounties Foundation as she explained that this effort would go a long way in ameliorating the challenges of online learning. She said, we have about 60% of students that are online because what we hear from students is that we don't have a device or we don't have any data. So that is one of the problems. So now, since there are no face-to-face -face classes and it is purely online, we have to be reaching out to students. Moreover, Bounty Killer is encouraging more donations to be made even after the pandemic. He explained that many times persons migrate and forget their communities. Thus, he is encouraging successful persons who are from the ghetto to remember the struggle and do projects to help their communities. So yes, people, Bounty Killer does not make the artists. Them. Not even artists, just people in general. For you successful and you have money, always try to give back to your community, is it? So this is not a surprise because Bounty Killer always a donate things. So me always a talk about it as well because it's just a good look and I just like to see them type of things here. You know, Bounty Killer, you come a far way and trust me, everything we are get in a life right now, you deserve it because you're a good person and you always a give back, is it? But leave in the comments and let me know where anything about this. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.